Hey guys, welcome back. So this is a video I've been really excited about making. It's about the American Opportunity Tax Credit. So this is video three of the four video playlists on paying for college. So let's get right into it. So the American Opportunity Tax Credit is something that you can use to get money back on your taxes. So if you Google American Opportunity Tax Credit, well, which we'll do here in just a second, you can pull up the IRS website and it'll show you uh, all the details about the, the tax credit and it'll be updated by year. So I'm going to give you some wave tops before we get into that though. So you can get back 100% of the first $2,000 you pay out of pocket for education expenses. That's amazing. So you'll see in the next video, video four of this playlist, where I tie all this stuff together. Together. So if you have to pay, say you're taking two classes, seven hundred fifty dollars a piece, that's fifteen hundred dollars out of pocket, and then you pay two hundred dollars for books as well. That's seventeen hundred dollars you can get back on your taxes, credited, hundred percent of it. So all that you're like you're paying for, you're just temporarily giving that money up and getting it back on your taxes. So we're going to get into this some more, but make sure you pay attention to this video. It is really going to help you out. So not only can you get money back for tuition and books that are required for your class, but if you're going to school and you need a, a computer, a laptop, whatever it is, and you buy that computer for school because it's a requirement, especially if you're going online, but really for any school. So if you do that, then you can get credited back that money on your taxes. So let's say you're going to school and you only, you don't come any, any, you don't pay out of pocket at all for tuition, but you do on some books. So you paid $500 in books. You keep those receipts for that money you paid for the books. You buy a $500 laptop. You can get $1,000 credited back on your taxes. $500 from the books, $500 for the laptop. And that's 100% up to $2,000. And then after that, the next $2,000, it's 25% you'll get. So if you, you'll get 100% back of the first $2,000. But if you spent $2,500, so that next $500, you'll get 25% of that back as well. Uh, so it, it's maximum of up to $2,500 credited back on your taxes, on your tax return. It's amazing. So uh, you can use it for a maximum of four years, and you can only use it for undergraduate education. So it's made to use your freshman, sophomore, junior, senior year of a bachelor's degree. That's what it's modeled for. So it's by individual, not by household. So if you and your spouse are both going to school it's individual so you can each use it for four years and uh, you can each write off you know up to twenty five hundred dollars and get it credited back on your taxes once again this is an amazing opportunity to uh, to get some money back from from what you're paying for college so let's see if you Google American Opportunity Tax Credit. This is what's going to come up. First option here is going to be American Opportunity Tax Credit IRS website. So if you come in here, it gives you all the info on it. it tells you who's eligible, claiming the credit. It says be careful, but there's things like you have to, basically the things you need to watch out for is here things you need to watch out for is keep your receipts so if you pay you'll get a 1098 T from your school for tuition so you don't have to worry about keeping a receipt for tuition you'll get that in the mail and then keep your receipts for your books you're paying for keep your receipt for your laptop that you may be writing off for school you keep those receipts it also you have it says you have to be going at least half time for at least one term which one, and it specifically says a term can be a semester, an eight-week term, whatever. So if you're going in eight-week terms, half-time would be one class. So if you're taking one class, 
in an eight-week term one time that year, then you're meeting that minimum requirement. But once again, get in here, look at look at the text, um, and you're going to see that you're probably going to qualify and it's really going to help you out. But it's not very long. You can get in here and, and really get into that at that spot on the IRS website. So make sure you check out the next video, which is going to cover all three of these videos we just I just recorded. So tuition assistance, financial aid, and the American Opportunity Tax Credit. We're going to roll it all into one and show you how you can pay for full-time college while on active duty. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.